go. With George Hernandez, I'm going to use the word legendary Chicago trainer. Because what you do is much more than boxing. It's a human story. Uh, you mentioned that you wanted to quit a couple of times before. But let's talk first about Adrian Granados. Well, Adrian Granado is getting ready for the fight of his life. He's getting ready to fight a four-time world champion. Again, we're underdogs, but we're so used to the word underdog, they should tattoo it on my ass, because that's what we are, underdogs. But where we come from, we have the... the it's just we have this inner desire to win that it's going to be hard to stop, because we're coming from nothing. And we look at an opportunity as a way to make our lives better and to demonstrate to all the kids and all poor people in the world that yes, you can make it given the opportunity. And that's what we're about. Even though they were fighting an African-American fighter, that doesn't mean nothing to me because poor is poor and I don't care a damn how you look at it. This is always you. I mean, I know you many years, maybe even 20 years, and you never changed. And most of this stuff you're doing, working with the inner city kids, you said it doesn't matter. I mean, inner city, outer city, they just came to you because they know they're gonna get the truth. Black is gonna be black, white is gonna be white. No BS in between. No, none at all. It's, it's all about uh, perseverance. Uh, if you want to make it in life, you can't depend on anybody. You have to pick yourself up, uh, quote unquote, by your own bootstrap, so to speak. And life throws a lot of curveballs at you. You just gotta learn how to hit them. And that's what we're doing here. We're, we're not being stopped by anybody. Uh, I don't listen to what the pundits say or uh, odd makers believe. Uh, I do it my way. And my way is uh, we're going to persevere because we believe in ourselves. And the only man that can judge us is God. Adrian Granado's way, it's, it's a quintessence, quintessence of what you just said. Guy who was uh, many years ago, there was, there, was, there was a saying about it, what he can do. Uh, his career is over, and now he's fighting for world championship, well-deserved championship, versus the superstar. He, he is. Um, um, Adrian Broner is no question, perhaps, one of the largest names in boxing today. And that's what we need. In order for you to make it, you have to beat one of these big quote-unquote names. We're not going to get there by fighting Bobby Schmokes that doesn't have any type of um, credibility. Adrian Broner Beating Adrian Broner is what Adrian needs to move up in this boxing world. And um, that's what we intend to do. That is our goal. Busy man, as we can tell. Hold on one second. Ruben, doing an interview, let me call you back. Okay. And now the bigger question. I started with it, I'm going to finish with it. Uh, what you're doing here in the Garfield Park, not the safest place in Chicago by any means whatsoever. What you went through with, with the brown dad, with, with, with trying to quit. Uh, what's the issue here in, in Chicago, which is, which goes, the aspect of going way past boxing. It, it's, it's a survival. Yeah, uh, after Ed Brown's death, I wanted to, yes, I did. I wanted to retire. And I went in to turn in my re uh, resignation from the Park District. I just felt that uh, losing Ed Brown was, uh, I lost my son and it bothered me. But, uh, you know, I mean, uh, there's a lot of kids here, and I, I, I have a lot of kids that depend on me, so I'm going to stick around for a few more years, and then I'm going to retire. I'm just, you know, a man can only take so much of this, and sometimes I do feel like I'm beating my head against the wall, but it is what it is, you know, I mean, you know, you, you, know, you can scream, you can talk, um, and nobody hears you. It's like you're all alone in the world, and... Uh, you know, the crime, the, the genocide that's happening in this neighborhood is catastrophic. Um, and uh, all the politicians say they're going to do something. Trump says he's going to send in the feds. Uh, and still, just a little while ago, the sirens ran by along with the same, the same thing. All the murders, there was some chat. The same shit all over and over. It just doesn't get any better. You know, so uh, it needs to stop. And it's going to take... Uh, more than me. It's going to take this community and the people in this country to get sick and tired of the most powerful country in the world with a disease in, a in the inner community that's destroying our youth.
that is this is the epidemic of modern day um, not Russia not what's happening in the Ukraine not Putin it's this is bigger than uh, where everybody worry about the immigrants this and this and that but we need to worry about right here in our inner cities and if uh, this makes any sense these lives do matter and I, I just don't know what to do thank you very much Judge